NBC 4's John Cadiz Kleinback is live in Guanajuato, Mexico, where thousands gather to see the Pope tonight. Hi, John. Good evening, Stephanie. A very busy day today. It has now calmed down quite a bit. We're standing just below where Pope Benedict XVI addressed the crowd. And as you said, he spoke specifically to what he called the future of Mexico and indeed the future of the world, that being the children. From high above the crowd, this symbol was meant for the children of Mexico. The Pope saying they hold a special place in his heart. Pope Benedict XVI wanted this to be a key part of his trip. Speaking to the children, he says, are the future of the Catholic Church in the world. And they came. Some 4,000 stood below the pontiff as he stepped out onto the balcony of Guanajuato City Hall. Uh, this has been soon. The Pope blessed them, calling them messengers of peace. And to the adults, he told them to care and protect the children. <laughs> Even the young know the danger that surrounds them. The Pope did not mention drug violence directly, nor did he respond to new sexual abuse allegations coming out of Mexico. But what he did say brought emotion to many, seeking a more personal relationship with their God. We need to be good in every in everywhere we are. We have to be good all participate with our community. We have to be soldiers of peace. He is a truly messenger of faith, of love, of hope. And while every stop he makes seems to make him reach rock star status, <laughs> the hope is the words he speaks will make change that will last longer than his weekend trip. And perhaps the biggest part of his trip happens tomorrow morning. That, of course, being the outdoor mass. About a million people expected to arrive there. We know of at least 50 that are coming from Los Angeles. We're hoping to talk with them uh, just before the mass happens. And then tomorrow night, he's expected to meet with some cardinals and bishops from Latin America before he heads out on Monday morning towards Cuba. We're live tonight. I'm John Cadiz Klimak, NBC4 News.